Hi guys, Lori here. I'm here today, to, here today to do a review of Alice in Richmond's The Garden of Letters. Sorry for my absence. It's been midterms here, so I've been kind of crazy this month. So I'll do a few videos tonight, so keep an eye out. Um, but I really, really like this book. I gave it four, four and a half stars. The only reason I gave it four and a half stars is because I felt like the ending was like a little bit rushed. And I wanted more. I wanted to know more about Angelo and Elodie after. So the book was well written. I just wanted more. And that's the only reason I gave it four and a half stars. But I really liked it. It's the first historical fiction book I've read. Pure historical fiction I've read in a while. I normally read something that has supernatural elements or, you know, other elements. But it was really interesting. It's about this girl named Elodie. And you you meet her. She's she she's basically on the run in 1943, Perfino, Italy. And the whole book is told from flashbacks. You see the present, and then you see flashbacks of Elodie, and you also see flashbacks of Angela, who takes her in. Um, but it's really interesting because you know something bad happened on both sides of the equation, but you don't know what until you get to it. So the whole book, I was like, oh my god, what's going to happen? Oh my god, what's going to happen? So it was really, really suspenseful, but it gave me like a lot of information about Italy with Hitler's regime, which was in power during this time. But I, I really liked it. There was also a heavy presence of music in it. I'm a big art person. Um, I'm a theater major and going back to school to be a theater teacher. So it was really interesting that that as well. And I also liked the presence of the resistant movements and how music was used. I also really liked the side characters. I thought it was like a very interesting way to develop a story. And there was a few twists that I didn't see coming. But I really liked how um, the book progressed. It used flashbacks and you learn things like in ways you didn't expect to learn and that would really like affect it but yeah I really liked it. I really liked the character of Elodie I felt like she was very very strong-willed and a very very solid female character this book really focused a lot on female characters um the writer is female obviously but I liked it I thought she made very like realistic characters and when the resistance movement occurred it wasn't just men on the front lines it was women as well and for 1943 Italy, I think that was a really interesting way to tell the story. And I know she did a lot of research about it. This is an adult book, so that it's a little bit graphic and a little bit violent at points. But I really liked it. I read it really fast. I read it in about three days. But I have not read anything by anything else by Alison Richmond. But I really want to read The Lost Wife, which is a um, like a excerpt that came at the back of it and it sounded really interesting but I know she has a lot of books out there but it will definitely be on my read list my read list in the future um a few other things about this book is that I like the dual perspectives I like how it really explored the character's life you knew a lot about them in both present and past which is why I really wanted to see what happened in the future but we didn't get that part Maybe she'll write a sequel one day. I don't know. Allison Richmond, are you going to ever write a sequel? Let me know. Um, but yeah, I really, really like the characters. I felt they were very realistic. And normally I need something to capture my attention in addition to history. But this was a really easy book to read and it really, really captured me. It was a very, very fast-paced novel because you knew something had happened but you didn't know what. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I'm also Italian, so I liked it being set in Italy. But I highly recommend this to anyone who likes historical fiction or someone that just wants a really interesting, compelling read. A little bit about self-discovery as well, and a little bit about finding yourself. I think Elodie is like 18 years old. The whole book takes place over like, I think, a six, seven month period. But yeah, it was it was a really good book. I highly recommend it. Have you guys read anything by Alice in Richmond? Have you... But let me know you guys' thoughts. Comment below. Go on my book likes. Look at my written review. Go on my Goodreads. Go on my Twitter. I hope you guys are having a good day. And keep the conversation going in the comments. Bye, everyone.